So Juju Smith-Schuster staying with the Pittsburgh Steelers. A bit surprising. He actually turned down less money from a couple other teams, including Kansas City and division rival Baltimore. Kansas City was offering the same base contract, $8 million for one year, but with $3 million in incentives. Baltimore had offered a $9 million deal with $4 million in incentives. And Juju says, I'm staying where I've been drafted. And you know what? You got to give him some respect for that. Uh, he doesn't have to do it, but, you know, give him credit for uh, playing for, you know, wanting to stay with the team that drafted him in the first place. You do have to give him some credit for that. As for the contract itself, this seems about right to me, actually. The $8 million, that feels right. That feels like the appropriate amount. One year, kind of a prove-it deal because he's not coming off his best season. And let's just sort of get into the film study, what I think about him as a player, kind of his pros and his cons. So I want to start off with this play because this is going to be a screen pass. And we have to talk about screen passes with Juju Smith-Schuster because honestly, he had one of the weirder statistical anomalies that took place last season. He was, you know, he got a ton of receptions last year. He actually had 97 receptions, so was that was ninth most in the NFL, It's just behind guys like Keenan Allen and Tyler Lockett. But despite that, he ended up with only 8.6 yards per reception. So he wasn't getting a ton of yards, but he was still getting a ton of catches. It's not completely out of the norm, but, like, you know, the next closest at the top there would be Keenan Allen, who had 9.9 .9 yards per reception, still 1.3 yards per reception more than Juju. In fact, to find the next closest player who had less yards per reception in terms of who still had a bunch of receptions, you have to go to Larry Fitzgerald, who had just 54 receptions, and he only averaged 7.6. Uh, the asterisk there is there's a couple of running backs also that are in that area. So now if we go back to the play, this isn't me saying that he's bad. Really what I, what I want to bring up is that, no, he actually is pretty good at these types of plays. Watch, Big Ben is going to throw the ball in his direction, and Smith-Schuster is able to pick up a good amount of yards uh, after the catch. So while well, obviously he's not always doing that, or his yards per reception would be higher, it is a bit of a concerning stat. Uh, I don't think it's a concerning stat in the sense that, like, it's because he's bad at racking up yards or anything like that. I just think that when you get a ton of shorter targets, like screen passes, your yards per reception is just going to be lower than other guys. Of course, that doesn't explain all of it, but it does explain some of it. But now I have to show a play like this because we have to be honest here. It's not all just screen passes. A lot of times, sometimes he's just picking up some of the receptions by plays like something like this, where it's going to be zone coverage, and there's other routes on this play, but you see Juju Smith-Schuster's. It's just an underneath route to pick up a couple of yards. That's pretty much its only purpose. It's a check down, which is, again, it's fine. A player has to run that route because it can be very effective, but it's also not necessarily something that is, you know, it takes a high degree of difficulty. You don't have to pay a big contract for someone to be able to run that underneath stuff. Big Ben takes the snap. He doesn't like what he sees over, so he just throws it underneath, and, you know, smith Schuster picks up the yards that is there, no more. Uh, so, again, that's part of how he has so many receptions. So, if you're looking at it and saying, hey, you know, 97 receptions, that's pretty good, it is a bit misleading. But, again, there's some real talent here, too. So, let's show this one. This is against Dallas. This is a really good play, and when he's really focusing on his route running, he can be a really good route runner. Uh, this, this is the coverage that... Uh, or excuse me, this is the route concept that Pittsburgh is running. The coverage is cover two uh, man. I don't know why I didn't put that on the screen, but yeah, cover two man. So it's man coverage, and you see Smith Schuster. Uh, he's the one who I've circled in white. He's running over the middle, and this is basically a kind of route that, you know, with the two safeties deep, could split the safeties given that there's three deep routes. But watch how once this play starts, watch how it kind of moves up like that just to get that defensive back a little bit out of position. He knows he's going to run over the middle, but he's kind of using that first step to his advantage. So often in football, in the wide receiver position, your play is won or lost with a first step. So good job winning this play with the first step by Smith Schuster. And as you see, he is able to get over in the middle and he does make this grab. They pick up a big gain. So, you know, uh, good play, definitely a really good, well-ran route. So he is capable of that kind of stuff. Uh, again, I don't know if he's capable enough that I would call him a true number one receiver. I don't know if he does it. I don't think he does this kind of thing enough for me to put him in that category. But, uh, you know, there's definitely value there. He's definitely a number two guy for sure. 
So now I want to talk about this play because one thing that people are talking about is, oh, do you really want the guy who dances on TikTok? To me, that means absolutely nothing. There's no evidence to support that wide receivers are worse off the more they dance on TikTok or dance on people's logos. Uh, again, you can like it or hate it. Uh, I'll let you decide that. I don't like to speculate. I don't like to give my opinions on who I think is uh, these guys as people because I don't know them. I mean, I wouldn't want them to do it to me, you know? So yeah, but I do have to see, talk about what I see on tape, and I saw, this isn't the only play I saw about this, this was one of them where he took a play off, and if I see you taking plays off, I'm going to talk about it in the video I make about you, that's that's just what I'm going to do. So on this one, he is going to take it off, I believe, and it's understandable because this is supposed to be sort of a rollout to Big Ben's left, it looks like Juju is the complete last option on this play, so I kind of understand, like if you are going to take a play off, this is one you could take off. But, I mean, watch how he really just, I mean, just very slowly goes. And eventually the ball even comes to him. But he was making no effort to run his route. And he basically just accepted, you know, getting covered nicely. Because he just, he didn't think the ball was going to come to him. It eventually did. And it wasn't complete. And I do have to wonder a little bit if he really ran that out. Maybe they get the completion there. So, you know, again... I'm not going to crush him for it, but it's something that you definitely don't love to see when you're paying a guy a ton of money. Another thing on this one, uh, I'm just going to bring it up again. I got to I gotta talk about the negatives too. I can't just talk about the positives. Uh, he's not the best contested catch guy. He'll make the occasional impressive catch, but that's not where he shines, I guess I would say. Like there's certainly other guys who do a better job of making those, you know, 50-50 catches. This one, it's just a quick slant route. He is going to get open. The rest of the coverage doesn't matter. All I want you to see is that he's not going to catch the football. Big Ben takes the snap. He makes this throw quickly. It's a bit of a tough throw, and Smith-Schuster isn't able to make the grab. And so, yeah, that's kind of my point. He won't always bail out your quarterback. Sometimes he will not be able to do that. So that's an issue. But again, he does a lot of things well. He will get separation. He's usually a very good route runner uh, and, you know, good possession receiver can get you a couple yards. So you got that going for you. That's why you're paying him. So yeah, that's what I think of Juju Smith-Schuster and this move. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.